Hi, Fashion TV. My name is Pilar. We are here in New York in the Women Agency. So let's go and discover my agency. Are you here's the lobby of the agency you have all the place like to wait here the people that are gonna stay with you and over there if you keep going you have a place uh, where they do the meeting with some clients or maybe some interviews it depends they use the place for different stuff You are like in the heart of women, so for that way you have Supreme, is one division of women. Over there you have women management and on that door you have women direct. There is like more commercial division. My name is Paul Rowland. I'm the founder of Women Model Management. We started in a really small table with one, actually one phone. Uh, my friend John Gennari and I. Um, and um, that's it, really. I'm not an agent. I've never considered myself an agent. Uh, uh, it's kind of a joke that I'm even in a modeling agency. To be honest, I've, I've always chosen girls by my kind of instinct. When I see a girl, I, I just respond to my intuition and I guess I'm you know I'm a bit lucky over here you can see the board with all the girls from Supreme Agency those are the composites so when you go to some casting you give the client one composite so they remember you if you come with me this is Supreme And here you can see all the bookers working because it's the middle of Fashion Week, so it's crazy. If you come with me, here is where the people from women management is working. They are all the bookers, so they do the same job, but it's like for different agencies. Here you can see all the board with the girls. See things, all the attention that it brings. Tell me no, I say yes, I was chosen. And I will deliver the explosion. And over there, all the bookers. So we see it's like that. They are working. I'm Matt from Women Management in New York. I'm a booker. We control the careers of all our models. We manage every aspect, whether it's work, sometimes even their personal lives. <laughs> But every aspect that comes into a job of a model, we handle all the details here. Tell me no, I say yes, I was chosen, and I will deliver the explosion. We all have to have a relationship with one of our girls, whether it's personal or work-related. You know, it's such an intensely, you have to be, we're in touch with the girls all day long, we know exactly what they're doing. So there definitely is a relationship there, because we need to be speaking to them all the time. But I think it's important, it's an important aspect of our job, you know, we're constantly in communication with them, so 
big part of it. In order to take good care about the girls, we divided our agency in three different departments. So it enables us to take better care about our models, for which we are very famous in the world. Basically, you know, I'm trying to put together three different cities, three different mentalities, three different worlds, you know, in, in order to, to, to maintain the balance between the different cities that uh, each of them obviously are trying to work out for their own market and also take care about the other market. And then obviously scouting and deciding the new faces for the group for the every season that is coming, season for the shows and so on. We are now in Women Direct. I'm going to show you first the board with the girls from Women Direct. Here you can see all the girls. Of course, they are so nice and beautiful. This is a new division. It's been for like working for one year and it's more commercial stuff. My book is with the rest of the books from the Supreme Girls. So let's go and try to find it. It's over there, somewhere around here. So let's go to the other room and watch it. Oh, I have here some pictures. That's me. We did that picture about two years ago when I just began. So imagine I was a little bit scared doing that. I've been working with them for two years. I started in Argentina, but immediately I came from to New York. So since the beginning, they've been so nice with me. I have a nice relation with my bookers, and that's important because they manage you, so you have to trust him, trust them, and they know what they are doing, so that's why we have a good relation. They make us look so different in all the pictures because they, they want to show the client that we can do so many different stuff, like we can look sexy and maybe the after that shooting we can look like a guy. It's like, it's amazing how with the makeup and hair they change us completely. I was sleeping gently, napping when I heard the phone. Who is on the other end talking? Am I even home? Did you see what she did to him? Did you hear what they said? Just a New York conversation rattling in my head. When we know, I mean, you never really know when a girl's going to be a star, but a lot of things come into it whether it's the way they dress, obviously the way they look, but I'd say the most important thing is their personality. There's no reason why some girls work. I mean, there is a reason, but, you know, it's just so hard to, to tell who's going to work and who's not working. So my point is, I always just try to tell girls to try and, um, you know, do their best, let go, you know, of any idea of, like, being a star or all of that, and just take what comes and, you know, be happy. Oh, I'm glad to hear from you all. I am calling, yes, I'm calling just to speak to you. For I know this night will kill me if I... Well, now it's time to go. I have to keep working. So I hope to see you in the next backstage.
Thank you, Fashion TV. I can't be with you if I can't be with you.